Okay, I think we're I think we're live. Um, so what I'm going to attempt to do is do a few CRM reviews. Uh, my name is Ron. I'm with a company called Knowledge Tech, and uh, I do CRM project work. One of the first things I want to do is take a look at Sugar CRM, and I got uh, Al and Ashton here with me today. Um, maybe Al, you can tell me uh, just who you are and what do you do. Hey, my name is Alan. I'm a CRM consultant. I uh, have been in CRM for about 12 years. I have lots of experience with Pivotal and Microsoft CRM and also a little bit with Siebel. And that's me. Okay, very cool. Well, let's just, let's just jump into it. The very first thing we wanted to look at was Sugar, um, but we're also going to do Salesforce, I'm hoping, right? We can do Salesforce, right, Al? Yeah, and then we can. And hopefully we can do, um, of course, we're going to do Microsoft CRM. And uh, you and I have the experience. I mean, heck, why don't we throw up uh, Pivotal and Siebel at some point, too? I'm sure we can get there. Uh, but for now, let's start here. So I'm going to jump to to uh, to my Sugar VM that I've got running. And, Al, I'm going to let you drive. Okay. And maybe you can tell me a little bit about what we're seeing. Okay, so we're currently in the, the dashboard. Um, it's kind of a home, the home page, standard dashboard area with a few interesting snippets, bits of news, etc. Information uh, about your, your own setup, so your opportunities, your accounts, your activities here. Um, but also this area... This is where we um, would go into the rest of the application. Okay. So, so hey, if we're going to keep this to a short one, Al, let's just do let's do what? Let's do like the main things people would quickly care about, which would be, I guess, accounts, the companies, and then contacts and opportunities. Okay, good plan. Okay, okay so basically, we go to the sales area here to have a look at accounts, and we'll get up a list of accounts. Okay. So the navigation's a little different than usual. I'm used to seeing the, I guess I've just gotten used to the Microsoft world now with Outlook and with their CRM, they use the left-hand navigation. These guys have the navigation running along the top. Yeah, for sure. Um, they've got the navigation running along the top and most of the other CRM products out there are like that. Okay, and and here I see, okay, you've clicked sales accounts and we're on, uh, we've so got a list view here. And yeah, so we've got a list of accounts and, and you see here the standard kind of um, information that you've got um, across all the packages. So we've got um, a search here so we could search for accounts. Um, we've got an advanced search tab where we can do a, a little bit more complex searching should we need to. Okay. And then underneath that is the, the filtered list of accounts based on your search. Based on your, so you have a default view, I guess, and you can set that default view, can you, I guess, and uh, sure. of the list that you get. So, and you know what's interesting? A lot of companies use this for reporting, too. I mean, to keep reporting simple, I know a lot of companies will do a, a, a list view or a quick query, and then they export it to Excel, and I see an export button there. For sure. So you... I guess you're able to export it to Excel. And yeah, absolutely. You can you can export this list to Excel. So once you refine your search to the companies that you need, um, let's. Um, you could make that a report, and then just and then just. Let's make it really simple. So you can see how that's working. Right. Right. And then you get your list of accounts. So, um, and, and um, I guess in the list view that we have here is the same view that you'd have. Uh, you get a list view when you click on contacts and opportunities just in the same way, do you? Yeah, absolutely. Every business object is the same. Okay. Maybe. Which you would expect. So then, how do so from the list view? How do I jump to a record itself? I click on it. I'm guessing, of course. Yeah, you. absolutely. It's worth noting also that you could um, once you've hit your filters, you can save those searches as well. Um, so it's like kind of my own custom, custom view. Great. Custom views, yeah. Very cool. So anyway, getting back to the record itself, let's let's go in there and have a look at an account record. Okay. okay so first thing to notice is that. We've got a very nice cleaned up view of the record. A lot of the other CRM systems don't work like this. 
So you don't have to do anything to the form to edit the record. But what I like about this is that it, it looks nice. It, it's got a nice clean look about it. Right. And then to edit the record, you need to click the edit button. And then when I click the edit, it'll look like it would in my other CRM system. Yeah, sure. Like then you get the boxes where you can... Okay, and that's, a typical, that's the view I'm used to with Microsoft CRM product, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, well, it looks good. Yeah, that clean look looks nice. Okay. So I'll just hit the cancel button on there so we can go back to the... In lieu of time here, why don't we jump to the, uh, what, a contact? Can we see contacts? Is sure. Okay, so this is the account. I'm not sure whether I've got any contacts for this account, but yeah, I have actually. Oh, okay. So this is the list of contacts related to the account that we're on. Uh, or I could have also gotten it from the top level menu too. I you see. could, sure. Yeah. And this is obviously a list of opportunities and so leads, etc. for this account. Right. Right. They're all related entities. Right. So right. let's go into one of the contacts so we can have a look at the contact form. Okay. Now you have to bear with me. I'm running it on my VM here, which is a little slow. So, okay, and we get the same clean view again, and and uh, and of course now, um, if if uh, if somebody wanted to modify what they capture against a contact, um, you can easily go in and change what the look and feel of form. Yeah, absolutely. All this is customizable, very customizable. Okay. You, can, you can add your own new fields, um, and you can. Uh, fields from forms, etc. Okay. that you wouldn't need. Well, hey, instead of showing me that right now, why don't you do that when we look at an opportunity? Because sure. one of the main things that, like, if you're if you're a small shop and you're using um, Sugar CRM, uh, you'll want to be able to change the sales stage cycles that are in there, and so we'll do that. Uh, but show me that on an opportunity, maybe. Sure, absolutely. Uh, it's worth also noting, just before we leave this record, that, that these are all the standard fields that you would get in a, in a full-blown CRM system. And uh, one of the things we didn't mention up front was that, that Sugar CRM comes in three different flavors, if you like. Okay. And so uh, the basic flavor is free. Yeah. All right. Well, that's, that's a good deal. So I think you get a lot of functionality here for free CRM system. Yeah. No kidding. No kidding. Okay, so let's do, like you said, let's have a look at the opportunities. Let's go into the opportunity search and you can okay. see again that we've got the same list structures. That we have right, before. and I can create my own custom one where I want to say, show me all stuff and by my sale, sort it by my sales pipe, a dollar yep. amount to my next, yep. my next step action date or something. and. And then I can export that to Excel and put it in a fancy list. If Absolutely. I modify my report if I want. So I can use that for reporting. And okay, fantastic. Sure. Uh, uh, first of all, let me just say um, that 